or so. Okay, I'm glad I'm wearing heels today because they're already up there. I know that they're about, I'm going to say 13 or 14. Am I right? Close? 12 and? Okay, so 12 and 14. So we're happy that Max and Ryan have decided to give their lives to Jesus today. All right, so we're... Can we say amen, church? Amen. These two young men have decided to be baptized. They have studied. Um, in fact, uh, uh, Elder Julmist, Elder Julmist is here. I know he's not feeling very well, but he has studied very long and hard. We also have your families here. Um, the families of these two young men. I'm going to invite if you can please come forward and stand with them. Uh, because this is the family unit right here. Please come if you have been invited here. We want to see the support that these men have uh, because God has blessed them. God has called them to give their life to him, and they have taken up the charge. We want to see their families, their support, to just be here with them. They want to see you all. Amen, amen. Please come stand behind them, stand behind them. The wonderful thing about it is that uh, they are never going to forget this moment. Why? Because when you are baptized, it means that you have a whole community who is supporting you. Today, we have some questions for you all. They have already reviewed the 13 vows, so we don't need to do that again. Um, uh, Elder Dorsey is going to review with you now the three, the alternate vows, the three questions, and you will have to respond um, depending on what you hear and how you respond affirmatively. By I do. Yes. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? And do you, you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with him? I believe they said I do. Do you accept the teaching of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? They said, I do again. Do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ? To be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal influence tithe, and offering, and a life of service. You saw and heard the responses of both Max and Ryan this morning, and we are overjoyed and congratulate you all and your families on this great step that you're making. This is the best decision, the only decision that matters in this life. And so today, I'm going to ask the church, they have a question for the church, um, if there is a motion to accept these two young men as members of the Tabernacle Seventh-day Adventist Church subject to baptism. I heard someone moved it. Is there a second to that? All those in favor, I want you to scream out amen. amen. Anyone opposed? Absolutely not. You have a full support of both everyone here and your families. Well, family, thank you so much. Here is what we're going to do at this time. We're going to have a word of prayer over these young men. I want family, if you would, just reach out. There is Elder Jumas. Elder Jumas, thank you so much. I know he battling, he's battling his sinuses and all that to be here because you are, you are celebrating this moment with these men. And so I'm thankful for you, Elder. Thankful for you. Um, I wonder if you would be willing, even with the little sniffles, to have a word of prayer over these men. Excuse me. Father God, we, we thank you immensely for your love and your care and your, your compassion and your grace. Without it, my Lord, we will be completely and utterly lost. So this very day, my Lord, we celebrate in our hearts and our minds understanding for allowing these two young men to see in their eyes. Grace. 
placed upon their life. I pray for their families as well, my Lord, who are able to stand with them to share their good, your goodness in their lives so that they, my Lord, can actually see the manifestation of how you have brought their parents, their friends, their loved ones, my Lord, through the hard, aching deals of this world. So, Father, continue to encapsulate them. Continue to allow them to know that they cannot and will not be able to defeat the curses of this world on their own. But realize through you, power is given to overcome all manifestations of everything that will dare to cross them. So, Father, bless them this very day. Allow them to accept this blessing in their lives. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Thank you all. We'll transition now and prepare for the baptism. I will have our deacon and deaconesses um, to help you and so that we'll prepare. All right. Can we say amen again, church? At this time, we have Brother Max, who is the dad. He's a deacon here. And then his son will be joining us now into the pool. And uh, as a deacon... I said one of the roles is to be able to assist in baptizing your own son. That is something that will always be remembered. And so for those who are here to support these family, these, this family, uh, this young man, as he makes the step in giving his life to God, I'm going to ask for you all to do this. Uh, those family members who have made their way here to be here, if you would please come forward. Those who are supporters. If you would please stand with us today just in celebrating this moment with him. Um, he has grown in this church. You have watched him grow. And now he's taking a step that is the most important step of his life. Amen. And he knows, he knows, he's the one who requested this. And uh, after, we're going to have them play. His intent was to play for his friend. And today is a day when his friend and himself is being baptized on the same day. Well, church, before we do anything else, let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, we're thankful today to have Brother Max in this pool. Lord, you have been with him his entire life. You have blessed him. And I pray, oh God, a special blessing upon him and Ryan as they take this important step. And as a church family, may we do everything in our power to support these young men. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I asked him if there was anything he would like to say. He said, mm-mm. So today, Brother Max, because of your willingness to follow Christ and make him your Lord and Savior, as a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the entire church says, Amen. Amen. We'll sing hymn 309, I Surrender All. All to Jesus, I Surrender. All to Jesus. Oh uh -huh. 
love that song. Every time I hear it, it brings me right back to my own baptism. And today you have surrendered all right. God has gifted these two young men with so many gifts and talents. I said to them, look, really and truly, we want you all to know that this is your church. And we want you guys to use your gifts and your talents to edify the church. They are musically inclined. Did you know that? Yes. These guys play many instruments. They can play as circles around some of the adults. And so I'm thanking God for you and for the ministry that he has given to you. Your ministry is not only for Tabernacle, but it's for this entire world. God has called you to this thing, and you will turn this world upside down. Never forget your commitment to Christ. Today, church, as a minister of the gospel, Brother Ryan, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful until Jesus returns. And the church says, I did not in this moment issue a call for those who have considered and thought about being baptized and I'm not sure who you are but I know that each and every one of us have been on a journey and God calls us to give our lives to him as he did as an example for us so today under the sound of my voice and those online if the Holy Spirit has been moving on your heart to give your life to him to surrender to him don't put it off for another day. Don't wait for another day as if we have tomorrow promised. Tomorrow is not promised to any man or any woman, any boy or any girl. It's for us to, to, to give our life to him as he has commanded in his word. Be baptized because if you're not baptized, how can Christ be one with you? So today this call is for those who need to make that calling and election sure. If you're here under the sound of my voice and you have always desired to be baptized, whether you say, you know what, I want to be baptized today, we, there's water, we can do it today. We also have another baptism coming up in the beginning of July. Can someone say amen? So if you want to be a part of that baptism, we can, we can schedule that one also. Or if it is another one, but we don't, don't put it off for another day. If God has moved on your heart to be baptized even today, I have no problem in being able to change back and be coming, come back into this pool before the end of the service to be baptized. Amen? So today, this calling is for you. I'm going to invite you to raise your hands. I want to pray over you if you, God has moved on your heart. You want to say, I want to be included in a baptism, if not today or another day, but I want to be baptized. If that is you today, can you just show by lifted hand? Can you just show your hand? I want to pray over you. I just want to pray over you. You want to be baptized. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord, you have moved in this place. And there are many, oh God, who need to surrender to you. So we ask today, oh God, that you will continue to speak to every person under the sound of my voice. That they too will surrender their lives. For those online, oh God, who have considered and thought about and have gone back and forth, Lord, may they make that decision fully and today. May you allow for them to experience that life change like never before. So bless us today. Keep us and throughout this service and the remainder of this service, may each one who needs to surrender do so. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen.